Last year, I drove the Elantra N. It's one of the most fun cars that you can buy for the money out there. Arguably the most fun car for the money, aside maybe from the Mazda Miata. It's that good. It's fantastic. And it has a better bang for your buck compared to, let's say, the Type R from Honda and likely the upcoming Integra Type S as well, which is very much the same car. And even hangs in there with the ridiculous all-wheel drive 1.6 liter three-cylinder turbo GR Corolla. The Elantra Inn is fantastic, and it's great that we live in this day and age. But over in China, they're introducing Hyundai's N brand, their high-performance brand over there. And they're doing it with a refreshed Elantra Inn. Like, this car just came out, and it's getting a refresh. And even though we don't have the full details, and I don't expect to get performance upgrades, to be honest, but the exterior, that was one of the things that I was tentative about with the new Elantra Inn, especially the front end. They fixed it, and it looks amazing. Now, the Elantra N is coming to China in the second half of this year. I wouldn't be surprised if we get this exact same gorgeous looking Elantra N in the second half of this year as well here in the United States. But they're also introducing the Ionic 5 in July. Well, specifically the Ionic 5N and the high performance models. That'll be introduced in July, but not available until sometime next year. That's just for the Chinese market. It could be different over here in the United States. Okay, up top, we have the current model, which is getting updated and refreshed. And down below, we have the new Elantra N. And let's break it down. The thing that held me back with the old styling is that there's so much black plastic up front, uh, and it really just looked like it had a mask on it. It didn't look finalized. It kind of looked like a rough draft setup. Now, I had no problems with the headlights. I thought the rest of the, the, the front end looked good and the rest of the vehicle looked pretty good, to be honest. Just like the, the Sonata got rid of the catfish with the new refresh, and we don't know if that's actually come to the United States yet, so stay tuned on that. We're getting the light bar treatment, aka Unilight, uh, that goes across the top here. Let me know if, what, what lighting setup you guys like better, the old lights or the new lights. I think they both look good, but the new front, front bumper just is segmented so much better. Uh, and we also have a little bit more detail here at the very middle, this bisecting piece as well on the new one. Uh, the blacked out Hyundai badge looks great. All right, looking from the back, old Elantra N, or should I say current Elantra N on the top, new Elantra N here at the bottom. They've given seemingly a little bit more texture down here at the, the very bottom. I, the exhaust look the same, even the dis diffusers may be a little bit different here on the new one. We still have that triangle, the red stripe that goes around. Uh, but it looks like the reflectors have been moved up to the top of this black portion here as well. And it just seems to be, we have a little bit more depth back here than the current model. Uh, we have Elantra now blacked out, looking sick, and the end logo is, is looking to be the same, but we also have blacked out a uh, Hyundai badge here in the same position. So the deck lid uh, area looks identical other than the blacked out logo. Uh, so the, the trunk lid is the same. The rear taillights look to be identical, which is absolutely fine because this already looked good. So they didn't change the back that much. And I'm happy about that. And let me know how you guys like these new wheels and seeing it from this profile. Do you like it better than the mask of the old Elantra uh, N? I think it looks fantastic. And here's the thing. It was already so good. And now it has the looks to hang with uh, the GR Corolla, uh, the, the Type R. Just, you know, it's all personal preference at that point. But man, I'd be happy with any of them. And look at these new wheels. These wheels look like, uh, I get brass knuckles. Uh, so, you know, it's like street cred, street performance. I also get maybe a rotating barrel of a revolver, which is also uh, alluding to that firepower underneath of the hood. Really sick overall. And I can't stop gushing about it. I can't wait to drive the new new one, even though it'll, in theory, drive the same. They could tweak a few things about it if they really wanted to. They really don't need to because the driving performance and mechanics uh, was was all already pure and gutsy and raw and great. Make sure to watch my Elantra N driving impressions of both the manual and the DCT as well as my track driving on it. So I love this car. It's one of my favorite cars on the market. And now that Hyundai has fixed the looks of it, I can't say enough good things about it. So I'll see you guys down below is a quick update from the Shanghai Motor Show. Uh, and if this update gets approved and I guess confirmed for the United States market. I'll give you guys an update video as well. So let me know down below, are you picking the refreshed after just one year Elantra N now that it looks, now that they've cleaned up the looks or would you still be holding out and waiting in line for who knows how long for a Type R or a GR Corolla? Or would you spend a little bit more money and just get the new uh, Acura Integra Type S, which should have uh, a lot better availability. Uh, I saw an Acura transport truck 
drive in front of me today. I was dropping my kids off to school. I'm like, oh man, it had two or three type S's on it from the TLX alone. So if that, that should be a good indication and a good sign of hope that the new Integra type S will have much better availability than the Japanese built uh, Civic type R, for example. But anyways, I can't wait to see your guys' thoughts and sound off down below. Have a great day. If you made this far, smash the like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.